Look at me. <laughs> How do you describe cleaving to someone when they ask you what the book's about? Uh, well, you know, the, the subtitle gets at it a little bit, a story, oh, yeah. story of marriage, meat, and obsession. But, you know, the glib way to say it is that it's, you know, it's a book about meat and adultery. Um, <laughs> and uh, Those are two very exciting topics. Well, they and they are amazingly linked. I, I came to Butchery at this point where I was, I've always been a person who likes a project, and, yeah. I, and, and I needed a place to kind of go away from this crisis that was occurring in my marriage. And uh, what I found with butchery is that the, this act of, you know, this physical act of ushering animal into meat and breaking it down into its component parts, you know, the way the joints you know, pop open and the yeah. way the muscles peel apart, it, it became a sort of peaceful, meditative way for me to consider the way our marriage worked and, and didn't work. And, and so the, the writing of the book to... was kind of a therapy, absolutely, in a way, of absolutely. trying to figure out where you were. Absolutely. I'm a memoirist. That's what we do. Uh, right. Yeah, yeah. We, you know, we use So this... does it save you a therapy bill, then? No, sadly, no. Oh, <laughs> I, I, it's OK. I need all, I need all of it. <laughs> Did you actually bring the knives here? I'm not really sure if brandishing a knife at the bar is such a good idea. So I think there's a table opened cool. up if you want to check Absolutely. out there. Let's retire to all the right. table. So you got this from Josh and Jessica Josh and from Jessica Fleischer Jessica State. Gave this as this you're going away pack. after your apprenticeship. Yep, and that's there's my cleaver. It's to break yeah. through bone. This looks intense. This it's is like the one you knife. use all the time. This is a boning knife, and then this is this is a uh, scimitar. They call it a, wow. And uh, fancy. fancy. To me, butchery is about being part of this process, and, and that, that's that's you know, it's art, art. It's artistic, and it's and it's beautiful, and and. So, so it's, it's not about release vengeance or, any or anything yeah. like that. You don't get any release from it? And there is. There's a release there for sure. Yeah, so yeah. It's, there's almost like a sexual sort of thing to it. Yes, there is. Yes, and there that is. is part of what comes together in your book. Mm -hmm. The book is really about... Oh, here it comes. It's, <laughs> it's, about, it's about a marriage crisis. It's about the aftermath of an affair rather than the affair itself. Like how, what happens after something like that? Sure. What, 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 a, a, a bomb like that is, is set, explodes in a marriage. Did you ever worry about when you were writing this book about casting yourself as maybe an unsympathetic character? To be a memoirist, you have to be both an exhibitionist and a masochist. I don't in any way want to excuse my actions or encourage but, uh, infidelity as a marital aid or anything like that, but <laughs> right. but uh, marriage is difficult. I thought sure. that that was an important, important thing to get across. We always end the, the, each one of these with uh, getting a kind of a good idea of who your favorite alcoholic writers are. Uh, Elizabeth Bishop. Fantastic. I don't know uh, if I'm familiar with Elizabeth Bishop. Uh, well, she's a poet. She's okay. extraordinary. And alcoholic. Um, okay. I always like to picture Jane Austen as being alcoholic, but I don't think so. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, did Jane Austen, I mean, I don't think she partied too much. I don't think she partied. Uh,